Hello, uh, welcome to Google Summer of Code Office Hours in the Jenkins project. Today is December 2nd. Uh, we have uh, several uh, contributors and students on the call, and we have a short agenda for today. So um, let's just go through that. Um, again, uh, we are in a preparation stage. Um, Google Summer of Code applications open uh, in uh, uh, January uh, for organizations, or even in February this year. So we have plenty of time to prepare, um, but we still uh, do office hours so that students uh, can ask questions uh, for our organization. And at the same time, uh, we can uh, uh, prepare project ideas and our application in advance. One thing I wanted to discuss before we go to Kone uh, with the students is actually a team. Uh, because uh, in order to run GSOC, you need uh, multiple people uh, as org admins, etc. Uh, I thought a bit about it this year and I decided that I wanted to keep doing org admin uh, work in uh, Google Summer of Code. But definitely I'm not ready to do it alone, so I'm uh, looking for more participants. So Kara was uh, org admin uh, last year and I shot Kara, do you want to continue? Yes, I would be very happy to be an org admin for Google Summer of Code. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, Mark, if you recall correctly, you prefer to stay a mentor at the moment. Uh, I would like to stay a mentor. If if it turns out that we don't have enough org admin depth, I could I could consider it. But for right now, I would I would like to just mentor if I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. So anyway, uh, Mark, you will likely participate to our admin. Uh, you had a chat, but uh, yeah, it's to be seen. Uh, Martin, uh, yeah, he has already sent a message that he would prefer to step down this year. Um, so he will be available uh, to help a bit uh, here and there, but uh, not in the official capacity uh, for admin. Uh, so, we have uh, up to five, uh, we can uh, have up to five or uh, in uh, the application. So definitely we have quite a number of slots and if somebody wants to join, uh, yeah, there is an opportunity. Okay, so another open question we have is uh, collaboration with Continuous Delivery Foundation because last year we had uh, two organizations. One is uh, Jenkins organization, which hosted uh, Jenkins and Jenkins X projects. And another is Continuous Delivery Foundation, which hosted uh, uh, projects for the rest of the Continuous Delivery Foundation. So for this year, we have an open question of whether we want to press it as before, as two organizations, or whether we want uh, to join uh, uh, powers and uh, just have one organization. Um, we discussed it briefly at the previous advocacy and outreach uh, SIC meeting, and the agreement was that uh, uh, Jacqueline and uh, uh, Tara, they will schedule a separate meeting, and uh, this meeting uh, we will uh, just uh, try to align how we do that. Because there are obvious advantages in having one organization. Uh, there are also concerns, like for example, how we distribute uh, project slots, etc. And uh, it needs to be discussed. But I believe that the meeting is uh, in mid December, and it has been already scheduled. Uh, yeah, so what it means for students that if you do not see the Jenkins organization um, uh, next year, it doesn't mean that we don't participate. We uh, might uh, just participate in the umbrella of Continuous Delivery Foundation, which is a current parent organization for the Jenkins uh, project. But yeah, basically it remains the same for us. So project ideas and information on our website remains totally relevant, even if uh, we participate under the umbrella of CDA. Yeah. Will, um, could I as an org admin be, have an invite to the meeting with the CDF in December, in mid-December? I will invite all our admins. Thank you. So yeah, let's discuss that. 
Okay, other related topic is that we also need more mentors. Um, so for mentors, we usually start a call for mentors in uh, December. So it's about time. Uh, my plan is to do it uh, once I finish uh, uh, the elections uh, work and the uh, Jenkins elections I finish in, uh, tomorrow. So after that, I will uh, start working with contributors uh, to find more project ideas and the mentors. Yeah, I think that our target for this year is to have approximately 15 project ideas. And regarding mentors, let's see, maybe 20 or so. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, to be seen because this year GSOC will be different in terms of organization. So we have already had some discussions with mentors. Some of them were concerned about uh, having uh, smaller scope projects. Um, but I see it as a, an opportunity. So let's see. But yeah. When you said this year would have a different organization, is that in terms of how the Jenkins project is handling the organization or is that a difference in organization on the part of Google Summer of Code? You mean uh, collaboration with CDF? Oh, if we collaborate with the CDF, okay. That makes yes, sense. No, I, Cara, I think you were asking a different question mm -hmm. based on, I think you were asking Oleg, based on Oleg's comment about differences in GSOC projects and they've changed the structure of Google Summer of Code significantly. Oleg, maybe you could summarize that. Yeah, uh, we had a quick discussion. Uh, okay. Yeah, I will show it. And by the way, for students who are on the call, please don't hesitate to unmute and ask any questions. So it's office hours and everybody can interrupt the discussion at any moment, so we can discuss it. So. If you take a look at the timeline, you can see that yeah, applications uh, opening in late January with the deadline in February, so it's later than usual. And actually, everything is later than usual except uh, the final date because uh, coding phases are shorter. So there will be only two coding phases with one evaluation in the middle. Um, it's approximately how GSOC was organized in 2016, but coding phases are so smaller. Um, uh, there were some clarifications uh, why they want uh, to make this change, but uh, basically to give all organizations and students uh, offering them in terms of how they spend time. Because uh, GSOC is historically quite time intense uh, initiative. And yeah, this year it was difficult for all uh, parties. So GSOC 2021 is expected to be a bit more relaxed. But still it's Google Summer of Code, so there will be a lot of work to do there. Okay. So timing, yes, May 17th is a certain project. Uh, um, June 7th is coding. So there are uh, yeah, almost three weeks of community bonding instead of one month. And then, you know, first coding phase and the second coding phase. So they are also approximately one month, a bit longer than before. So yeah, that's uh, the only significant change in the process. There are also changes in the eligibility for students uh, because uh, they made adjustments uh, and students who were unable to participate in the previous year, uh, but uh, uh, they could participate uh, this year, even if they wouldn't be eligible according to common goals. So basically, if you graduated uh, in 2020, uh, you are still eligible uh, to participate in Google Summer of Code. There are more detailed uh, clarifications about how it's organized on the uh, GSOC website. So please refer uh, uh, to GSOC website for the official information. Uh, but yeah, uh, there are also changes in eligibility. Okay. Uh, Kara, does it answer your question? Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Alec. Okay. Any other questions before we move on to other topics? Looks like not. Okay. So, yeah, still we need to send call for mentors. 
Yeah, the developer mailing list uh, things are quite slow uh, right now, but yeah, it's rather better to do it now than in um, you know, one month when you have Christmas break. So it's just an interesting time. Uh, Kara, one question to you about Jenkins X. Will Jenkins, uh, will Jenkins X uh, this year? Is it an open question? Or? I would leave that as an open question for now. Um, I probably need to speak to the Jameses about it. My main concern with that would be mentoring capacity. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, I'll put, I'll put a feeler out into the Jenkins X community and discuss that further with the Jameses. I am not sure. So we'll leave that open for okay. now. Yeah, let's see. Oh, anyway, uh, uh, taking the timeline, we would need to have answer, in, well, preferably uh, before March, so that uh, when students uh, start exploring to their separate organizations, uh, we have some details about Jenkins sex. Okay. But and so from my understanding of your question, then from the point of view of the Jenkins project, as with last year, if need be, we would be very happy to have Jenkins X within the Jenkins org umbrella again, or within the CDF org umbrella, depending on which way we go there. Is that yeah. is that a good understanding? Okay, so then uh, it's an open question, question, and I'll ask the Jameses. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, even if not Jenkins, so CDF uh, for sure. So basically, it for yeah, it also falls into this question how we organize. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Jenkins X is definitely uh, welcome to join one of these organizations, uh, depending on how we agree. Okay, great. Okay. So that's it from organizational part from me. Mm, so mm, we can proceed with Kone with students. And uh, and if you have time, uh, we can discuss Mark's project ideas, I guess. Mm, yeah, both me, Mark, and uh, Kara, we have to drop in approximately 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, so let's start uh, with Connie. Hello, Leg. Uh, yeah. so, so this time GSOC has also changed, and the last time I tried to participate, there was, but I was not able to clear. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, this time, even the small points are also allowed, and uh, having plenty of time to prepare. So I want to get uh, some clear idea, like uh, because we are not, uh, personally we have not worked in an organization, right? So now we are in, still students. So that uh, can you help us in uh, for a newbie, uh, like us uh, to start uh, with Jenkins, like small small changes or small small works. Mm. So there's some tasks uh, which can which on on which we can work uh, so that we will get some uh, mm. idea about that. Because even the uh, small parts are also a lot, uh, we can get. Uh, so we'll be having enough time to prepare for all the things. Yeah. Yeah, we had a long discussion about it uh, at the last meeting. So you can just uh, refer to the recording. Yeah, I will uh, show some examples. So yeah, as in the previous year, our project ideas, well, ones which are published, they include references to some uh, good, uh, uh, they provide getting started guidelines um, and yeah, since you participated in the previous year basically these are the same guidelines as before we still need to refactor them uh, but yeah there are new friendly issues you could take a look at if there are some quick start guidelines you can start from and uh, in addition to that uh, you can also um, and just export uh, Jenkins, export errors uh, using existing guidelines, like getting started with Jenkins. Also, uh, there are contributing guidelines. Um, uh, Jenkins uh, participate, uh, so you can go here and you can find some references to newcomer friendly tasks uh, by exporting. For example, yeah, Google Summer of Code is about code, and here um, there are references uh, for newcomers, for example, new friendly issues, uh, good first um, uh, issues on GitHub, etc. So you can just take uh, one of these categories and there will be some issues you could uh, start from. I know that's great. I'll start mm -hmm. uh, 
and uh, if i face any issues i will be contacting you yeah so it will be good if i can make some pull request or some comments and pull request so about the new friendly uh, mm -hmm. yeah it would be recommended but again the goal uh, is uh, to explore the project so there yeah, is no objective uh, to fix as many issues as you can uh, before the application phase because yeah, yeah whatever you do the goal is to prepare your proposal yes but uh, for getting the projects we can't make ourselves some ideas right because we are not worked specifically on this domain right so if you can provide some uh, ideas or some small small project ideas on which we can work and explore specifically so that would be great Mm -hmm. So, from uh, student perspective, we have not uh, done hands-on on Jenkins side. Right? Just we have, last year when I have participated, I have uh, um, yes, I have run the Jenkins, and I, I have seen how the export, uh, exported exported okay. annotation is working and how the REST API is working. So I have seen that, but uh, remaining like uh, all the functionality of Jenkins we have not explored. So, mm -hmm. so that's why you understood my point of view, right? Yep, I understand. So, yeah, regarding particular ideas where to get started, again, uh, you can uh, refer to project ideas. So, for example, automatic specification generator. Um, the best starting point would be to create specifications for a few plugins and to, to actually see how it works. Yeah, uh, this was uh, my last year project uh, proposal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, well, it's still an opportunity to do that. Um, or, for example, if you talk about a uh, plugin installation manager, uh, so what you can do, yeah, there is a, a plugin installation manager uh, repository. If you go here, there are some open issues. I actually, we ran out of uh, good first issues, but there is still one left, and uh, we can definitely create more. Uh, but yeah, if you're interested to explore it, uh, the best way would be to actually to use the tool to see how it works. Maybe to do some improvements, for example, in documentation uh, based on your experience to uh, create some uh, tests because yeah, any component needs more tests. And if you see some patches uh, which you would like to do, you're also more than welcome um, to contribute uh, to this company. So. For this project, you can just uh, start using it, go through guidelines, and uh, try to improve something. Um, last project idea we have published at the moment, uh, Jenkins Remoting Monitoring. So there, if you want to start, uh, my recommendation would be to start from uh, Prometheus and Kubernetes. So we have a Google Season of Doc project this year and this project actually targets creating a new documentation for Kubernetes and some documentation have been has been already published so you can go through the, this documentation and uh, just set up Jenkins in Kubernetes and then uh, configure Prometheus to monitor it and uh, it will provide you some insights about how the systems work and after that uh, you can uh, um, explore uh, what would be good to monitor on the agent communication side because many things can be done there with existing plugins uh, but uh, you can uh, just see what else could be improved yeah. does it make sense yeah yeah mm -hmm. so, the second part is also interesting i will explore that yeah. and i will see the, how the plugin installation manager is working and try to fix the issues if I can. Okay. Uh, thank you, Oleg. So to further support Oleg's Oleg's suggestions, we had good success last year with the Git plugin. The students that were considering applying took one of their tasks as write more tests for the Git plugin. And we had a, a we had actually a transformation story that we were a ticket that we were working on. So mm -hmm. writing tests for whatever target is a good thing. Yep. Yeah, fine. Okay. So yeah, I'll put some notes uh, there later, but yeah, again, um, you can just see the previous meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any additional questions?
nothing from yeah. my side mm -hmm. uh, from other students okay then uh, let's uh, mark you wanted to discuss project ideas maybe you would like uh, to summarize what uh, you have in mind yeah so i've got i've got five different ideas that are on my mind right now top priority one is use git credentials in a pipeline task for the with credentials step um, it would allow people to use the git command from an sh step or a bat or a powershell and still do it with credentials uh, it's a way to allow a much richer set of actions inside pipeline git related without requiring that we do implement those all of those in code um, that one is number three in the most requested features so it's it's very very popular right now embarrassingly popular it's so so much interest in the community wants that fix that change mm -hmm. and the what, uh, oh sorry okay. yeah it was uh, just uh, i just started uh, talking about solutions because that is credentials binding plugin i was just wondering why it's not enough that's that's the one and and i think it as i've been detailing it i think i've detected that credentials binding is exactly the way to do it mm -hmm. and and it, we just need to refine and adapt it slightly to do to do it so it, it looks very potent very probable that it would be done using a credentials binding plugin technique okay this but but the the challenge there was i guess well, let me go through the, the topics first really quickly, yep. and then, sure. then we can guide. The next one was add pipeline symbols to the Git plugin. And the, the benefit there is users will get a much simpler presentation of their pipeline as they're editing it. As mm -hmm. they're looking at it, instead of these big, long class references, they get nice, simple keywords. Mm -hmm. third, third is use Clover open clover a coverage tool to reduce test time by optimizing test selection mm -hmm. this is completely independent of the git plugin but it's using something that open clover offers as a way to use diffs to decide which tests to run and which to not the fourth is git submodule improvements mm -hmm. and then the fifth is git lfs improvements and my thinking is the top two are the most interesting to me, and I'll do more detailing on them. The, the third is an almost a research project. It's not really, it's not been proven that it would even work. And therefore, I'm not sure it fits well with Google Summer of Code. Is it okay to do research style projects in Google Summer of Code or advised against? Four pipeline symbols? No, the third one, the use open clover thing. Well, uh, research projects make sense uh, if there is a clear goal. So, okay. Yeah, uh, research project may mean that uh, there are some uncertainties, uh, but still the main focus is creating code and solutions. So it wouldn't be a research project as uh, let's uh, explore the area um, and summarize the results. It would be rather let's create a prototype of a particular idea. Uh, well, it's uh, still a research part to some extent, but uh, yeah. uh, the goal should be still to produce actual code and uh, to produce uh, something uh, which can be delivered uh, to Jenkins users or developers. Okay, so that's good guidance. That means I think what I'm going to do is likely work on the top three, most focus on number one, because its detailing is is crucial uh, i'll put some focus on item two and just a little on three accepting that the project idea review process may reject it as insufficient information thank you that was that was the kind of guidance i was seeking yeah for second issue my well it's just a hunch but my impression that it's rather a bunch of small tasks it's uh, unlikely to be a full-fledged uh, GSOC project. And, okay. and my problem with not making it a GSOC project is mm -hmm. all my attempts to test it have proven that it's not as small as I hoped it was. Mm, okay. It's, it, it, but it's, it's much more heavy test focused 
than it is writing code focused, right? So it's maybe a bad choice just because there's not enough code to write as there is a whole lot of testing that has to be done, automated and interactive. Yep, uh, well, testing uh, in our case is code as well, but still. Uh, so, uh, yeah, anyway, it's a good approximation and we should keep talking about these project ideas and uh, I will also prepare my list uh, for the next week. Great. I have a few things in the mind, including Jenkins, Palerano and other things. Uh, but yeah, I'm not uh, ready to come up with a particular project description. Okay, so yeah, as we discussed in the beginning, uh, yeah, uh, uh, this meeting should be rather short. So uh, if there are any questions, I could answer them uh, briefly. And yeah, Marker, uh, you could probably drop and I will join you as soon as I can. Hi, y'all. Yeah, hi. Sorry about that, uh, just company meeting. So, uh, question to all students, uh, do you need any additional clarification or details uh, you would like uh, to discuss now? Can you repeat the question once? Uh, so, do you have any additional questions or do you need additional information uh, for now? Yeah, nothing from me, sir. Mm -hmm. Nothing from me as well. Okay, so then uh, we can just sync up asynchronously. So if you have any questions, just uh, ask in the chat. Um, and yeah, next week we will uh, have um, other office hours sessions where we can uh, discuss more details. Okay, thank you. And Thanks, yep. see you next week. Uh, thank you. Yeah, bye. Bye.